everybody. Thanks for watching the channel. This was a different channel uh, several years back. It was a channel that I started to do kind of weird covers of metal songs. We're going to change things around and do some guitar reviews, maybe do some metal CD reviews, and uh, definitely want to lean in heavily with the guitar reviews, especially affordable guitars, because I think that's something that there's a lot of stigma surrounding uh, you know, having a cheap instrument and actually being good. Thing is, is that there are a lot of really good cheaper instruments out there, you know, that won't break the bank and will get you a really good bang for your buck. And I've got just the one today. We're going to check out a Les Paul style guitar today that cost under $300 and see if it's any good and if it's something that I would recommend. Okay, so we've got a lot of ground to cover and I don't want to make this an incredibly long video. I had never heard of this brand before. It's uh, Bad Cat Instruments, and I looked around on the internet, and quite a few people have been using these guitars, and they're reviewed pretty well. So I decided to take the plunge, and I found one on Amazon for, I believe it was $295. And I picked it up, and it just got here today, so let's open it up, have a look at it, and we'll see how good this guitar actually is. Okay, right away I can tell you that I like the way it's packaged. Uh, it seems to be enclosed in a foam capsule that is the size of the guitar. So yeah, really good packaging. It's really simple, but it's effective. And we've got the guitar right here. And sometimes these come with gig bags. It doesn't look like this one does, but it does come with your Allen wrenches and a cheap guitar cable. Right off the bat, it looks pretty nice. Everything looks really well put together. I like the colors. The finish is beautiful looks like a pretty solid pick guard and uh, yeah it just looks like a really nice guitar one thing that I noticed are the uh, embellishments here on the headstock uh, it says bad cat instruments and it, they're kind of trying to make it look like abalone but it's not uh, I believe that is a sticker that is underneath the finish but it looks pretty good so I'm okay with that if you see the back of the guitar here everything looks just fine just about like you'd expect on a Les Paul style guitar so yeah, first impressions looking at this guitar, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the finish is just phenomenal. Uh, the knobs look really good. I mean, we've got generic tuners, but they seem to stay in tune. And uh, the frets are a little bit rough right here, but not so bad that it would hurt you if you played. You can just kind of feel them, but you can sand those down pretty easily, and I'll talk about that later. You know, the pickups are uh, pretty decent pickups. Uh, they're Pretty good for hard rock. You could probably get into some light metal with them. Or if you want to play super heavy music, I'd probably consider upgrading these, but it's not really necessary. You know, overall, the construction of this instrument is really surprising for a $295 guitar. I couldn't even believe it when I saw the listing. I, I thought there had to be a catch. The frets feel really good. I don't see any uh, frets that need to be leveled. Uh, there's no buzzing. Uh, the intonation is spot on. I tune the guitar up, stretch the strings, and it plays really well. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised.
really glad that we were able to take a look at this Bad Cat's Instruments Les Paul style guitar. It's got a lot going for it, and you know, you're not going to get a $2,200 Gibson Les Paul with something like this, especially not for $295. But I would say that this is really comparable to maybe a Les Paul Studio in terms of quality. Uh, it's made really well, the hardware is great. The neck feels really nice. I had to sand the edges just a little bit to get the frets nice and smooth, but basically you just take a little sanding block and you just kind of go over the fret ends. You can get pretty good results that way. Otherwise, the guitar plays great. It feels great. The action is really nice. It came already set up. The intonation was pretty much spot on out of the box. I'm going to put a link to this guitar in the description uh, if you guys want to check it out. By all means, I think it's a worthy instrument to have in your arsenal, especially if you just want to have something in the living room to pick up and pluck away at while you're watching TV. I think it's a lot more useful than that. Um, I'm probably going to use this on recordings and, you know, taking around to band practices and things like that. So I highly recommend this instrument. We'll be back next time with more reviews. Thank you for watching.